Hey guys, good morning. So it is Thursday morning. I'm finally feeling good, a little bit more like myself. I had a really bad flu cold, like my entire family was sick. My mom, Mike, Tony's getting sick. I was really sick. So I'm finally feeling more like myself. But of course, as soon as I start feeling good from that, before I get my period, I get like the day before or like the few days before, I get really tired and achy and almost like nauseous in a way. Like I just like nothing sounds good. So yesterday I was <laughs> dealing with that. Luckily I can edit and do a lot of work from home. But today it's actually really exciting because I was approached by CJAD. It's a radio station. I'm sh I don't know if they're everywhere. It might just be a Montreal thing, but I'm going on a late night radio show tonight. So I've never done anything like this. I think it's going to be really cool because um, it's just something different. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this maybe. At the beginning of the year, 2018, I kind of said like to my friends, I was like, I really want to take YouTube to the next level and like really focus on it and take it seriously and put myself out there. And I'm not kidding. It's March now so January February March so much has happened and I've done so many things that made me uncomfortable just from the beginning of the year I'm going to the radio show tonight I'm about to have my lemon water I'm about to make my bulletproof I have a video I need to edit on Instagram for some reason when highlights first came out I had I had them on my on my profile I didn't really know what they were because I mean they were still new like people weren't doing like their little cute little slides or whatever like it was still very new I didn't know what it was so I didn't pay much attention to it and then I noticed that they went away and for someone who might not be an influencer or have a YouTube channel you probably wouldn't care too much about highlights but I receive a lot of the same questions on a daily basis I really don't mind receiving the questions I know a lot of people are probably new or they just found me and so they don't know and so I don't get upset or like mad that people are asking questions however if you guys put yourself into someone else's shoes, imagine you make so many videos about, I'm gonna use Bulletproof because honestly Bulletproof is like something I get so many questions about. Imagine you've made like so many videos about Bulletproof to the point where people are fucking annoyed with you about you talking about Bulletproof. I've made so many what I eat in a day videos, I've talked about it before, shown it in video, like I've done so many videos on it. Imagine if every single day you got a or you got multiple questions being like, what do you put in your Bulletproof? Why do you like Bulletproof? Have you noticed a difference from drinking Bulletproof? For me, it would be so amazing to have highlights on my profile so that I could have, you know, skin, my skincare favorites or Bulletproof coffee, life, videos, like I it would just be so helpful to me so I have tried everything okay deleting the app reinstalling the app logging out logging in logging out logging in like multiple times I've tried switching from a business profile to a personal profile and back tried switching the type of business profile I had you know I have tried literally everything um, and whenever I posted about it people would be like you have to like go into your stories and click highlight I don't have the highlight button on my stories. I don't have an archive on Alice of Dallas. It's the weirdest thing. I know a lot of people are also experiencing this, but for me, for the type of content that I put out, it'd be so useful. I got tired of kind of bitching about it and being like, oh, I just want highlights because I, like I said, I don't have time to answer the same questions over and over. Something I just want to say also though, YouTube is my main social media. So I post a lot of videos on my YouTube channel and I try and do videos that you guys are curious about. If I'm getting a lot of questions about my hair, I'll film a hair video. If I'm getting a lot of questions about my everyday makeup, I'll do and every day my glasses are crooked I need new glasses I try and do a good job of like tagging my videos titling my videos so that videos are easy to find in my opinion it's just so easy if someone has a question about my hair to just go onto YouTube and say Ali type in Ali of Dallas hair and save that video for when you have time to watch it instead of getting upset because some people get upset if I don't have time to answer their DMs but when I do have time to answer DMs I try and focus on questions that I haven't answered in a video or answered many times and questions that are not found the answers aren't found elsewhere if that makes sense so like for bulletproof i just posted a high, so long story short i made a separate account and what's what's the kicker about this whole thing is that like on every one of my other accounts so like civ dallas style closet cnc signe like my personal instagram account they all have highlights ali civ dallas is the only one that doesn't have highlights so finally i was like I'm sick of not having highlights. It would make my life so much easier, so I'm just going to be productive. And so I, I made a separate Instagram account for my highlights. A lot of people follow the account, which I appreciate, but I'm not like, it's not an account where I'm like, follow, follow, like I want a lot of followers. Like for me, it's more just so I have somewhere to guide people, but I just wanted to let you guys know about it because I have been over the past couple days, like going through my pictures and also posting like more personal pictures. Okay, so I know I look nuts right now. I really feel like self-tanners on faces don't do anyone like, oh, 
I always hope the FedEx truck is for me whenever it drives by. I self-tanned. I have a hair mask in my hair. So these leggings are by Climate Wear. They're super, super comfortable. My duvet cover is actually in the wash. Um, but if you watched my workout haul, I talked about how I wanted to get the pair of nude Ultra Boost. So I, this is my first pair of Ultra Boost. I got a size six because I'm a size six in pretty much all Adidas shoes because they're made pretty big. Um, I'm gonna have to try these on again. Last night I tried them on and it was a whole issue with UPS again. They fit, but they're a little bit tight. I'm not sure they're supposed to be tight. I know they have uh, like half sizes. So I'm like, maybe I should just return these and get the six and a half. But I love the color. So I don't know, I'll try them on, but I feel like I'm gonna need to return them to get a size six and a half. For some reason, Sephora Canada stopped selling this eyeshadow, this Urban Decay Chase eyeshadow, and I thought that it was being permanently discontinued, so I ordered a bunch. And so I'm gonna give away one brand new Urban Decay Chase eyeshadow. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment on this video and be following me on Instagram. I'll be choosing a winner on Monday. Speaking of shoes, I got a package from Black Suede and if you follow KGMTL, this is her husband's um, shoe line and she wanted to send me a pair of shoes. Clearly I'm on like some blush shoe kick. I love this color. So these are beautiful. I'm gonna actually bring them into the natural light. So I don't know what these are called. I'll link them down below. You can use the code AliSivdalis for 15% off, which is so nice. So I am not a big heels person. I don't wear them that often. So I wanted to get a boot that I could wear pretty frequently. And they have them in black as well. These are the blush color. I just thought, for I just got the most amazing package. I've tried a few things from this brand, but I'm not too familiar with like all their other products. The only thing I've tried was the Honey Potion. I got a sample of it from Sephora one time and the Green Clean Melt Away um, Cleansing Balm. I actually needed another cleansing balm, so perfect timing. So I will definitely try these out and as always, let you guys know what I think. So I got a size eight. I love the sound of heels or like soles. And obviously not with these pants. But I think they're really, really cute. I thought I'd show you guys a better representation of the outfit, how I'd actually wear it if I was going out. So another athleisure look. Tony's in the background if you hear her. Hair and tan are crazy. The Olaplex mask is still in my hair. I'm gonna go home, wash it out. Tan is crazy because it's developed now. Top is just tied up Brandy Melville. These climber wear are slightly cropped, all white NMDs. My oversized jean jacket from Forever 21 plus size sale section. This was like $10, it was such a good find. Oh, I feel like a million bucks. Always boxes by my friend door to take out to recycling. I feel so good, my hair feels so soft. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow actually. I'm just making dinner while I'm heating up leftovers. I have some grilled chicken that I grilled up on Sunday that I'm, uh, I just heated up, cut up into like little cubes. And I made corn chowder last night if you wanna know my recipe for skinny corn chowder, it's so good. I made it last night and so I'm just having that for dinner with some grilled chicken. It's 5.30 right now, I need to leave here at like 8.50 depending on traffic, we'll see. So I have time, but I really don't want to be rushing. Are you in a relationship? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ali, Seb Dallas, lifestyle vlogger, entrepreneur. You can find her at youtube.com forward slash Ali Seb Dallas or at Ali Seb Dallas on Twitter and Instagram. 20s, early, late? 22. 22 in a relationship? Yeah, a long-term relationship. At 22 already yeah, in a long-term relationship? almost six years. Congratulations. So <laughs> prenup soon. So we were driving home and Mike was like, I saw so many deers here. And then we were driving and there's one there, two, three, four. There's like a little five. five. There's so many deers. Okay, so it is past midnight now. It's 1210. It's been a long day. I'm about to go take off my makeup. I have my hair tomorrow at noon. I have some things I need to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna make a tall glass of water and go to sleep. I don't know if I vlogged today. Yeah, I did vlog over when I went over to the office, but I want to show you guys my new bracelet that I got, well, put on. My tan is all weird. But so this is the evil eye bracelet. It's on a really pretty box chain. Layers really nicely. It's very dainty. I was really into the um, flash bracelets for a while, but I just wanted something that 
was a little bit more dainty. I'm really tired. I really want to take off my makeup. I'm really thirsty. The kitchen is pretty clean. I just need to wipe the counters and the floors, but I think I'm going to save that until tomorrow because I'm pooped. Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning, and I am getting ready because I have a hair appointment today. Um, just to bring my color up because my hair grows really, really fast. I think I got my hair done the last time in like November before Christmas. We brought it up way higher, but like my hair's really dark. My hair grows really, really fast because of the collagen. Look at this hair. So, um, I have to head over to the office. My, um, hair colorist Christy is actually pregnant. She is going to be having the baby really soon, I think. Um, so this is probably the last time I'll be able to get my hair done for a little bit, but I feel like I feel like I won't need it for a few months um, So I want to stop and get her a little baby present. I have a face mask for her I'm gonna bring her a Signe phone case and then I want to get something for the baby. She's having a little girl I'm going to run to like either Marshall's or winners or something and just get a cute little outfit and a gift bag and um I bring her something because I don't know I feel like babies are meant to be celebrated and I don't obviously have friends that are pregnant right now but I feel like everyone is pregnant right now like so I'm excited to see her and I'll keep you guys posted on what we're gonna do to my hair and also on what I'm gonna give her running into Marshall's to check out the baby stuff and hopefully find something cute these shoes actually have really grown on me oh, they're kind of like folded but um, oh, I need to go return my ultra I didn't know milk made makeup remover. Spray nail. I've never really like shopped for babies. I don't even know like the different sizes. Like, where's all the little stuff? There's like no baby baby stuff. Okay, let's look at this stuff. Mm, meh. So I think that this is really cute. It's a little Ralph Lauren six month little outfit. Um, I don't know, like I'm so out of my element. Like I don't know what babies, <laughs> like I don't know anything. I mean, I know what I'd like. They don't have a huge selection. I'm kind of taking more time than I probably should. But like, I don't know too much about what babies would be interested in. Maybe I'll get a book. I don't even know what people use. I'm so excited to have a baby one day. Not anytime soon, but I don't know. I, uh, oh my god, that's so cute. I love black and white. But I, I think, it, like, don't babies need color? I feel like babies need color, right? Oh, this is so cute. Normally I don't like butterflies. What the hell is this? A burpee bib? That's cute. I'll get this. Oh my god, they're only $4.99. Oh my god, I love these little these little bibs. They're so cute. Huh. Isn't Eden hooded towel? I don't know like what the decor is. If I did, I would maybe get like a little unicorn bag. Oh, I gotta do this really quick. Um I found the most like baby friendly bag that I could um I have to do this quick because I don't want to be late that late I saw these in the checkout line this little like bath toy thought it was just really cute I figured like a lot of people probably were getting things for newborns so I really wanted to get um like an outfit for like not right away and then the little outfit I got is by Ralph Lauren just a little baby onesie i thought that this was really really cute let me take off the price i just thought this was really adorable i am giving her this um well she's having a little girl so i thought this mask was perfect perfect it's a firm lover rubber mask so that's for um christy i'm also gonna bring her i think she has a plus um, I'm gonna bring her a Signe phone case, and then I brought the- actually, I always save tissue paper. Actually, it's kind of cute. Kinda. After I get my hair done, um, I need to go to the mall. I never go to the mall anymore. I don't know why. I used to go to the mall all the time, like Mike and I, every weekend we used to go to the mall. 
and I just got like tired of constantly going to the mall because I was like there's always the same shit the store I used to love the Zara in the mall that I always went to but they've renovated it and I can't shop there anymore it's just so big so overwhelming it's always a mess it's just like I hate shopping in the Zara at the mall so I don't even shop there anymore which kind of sucks because I used to love Zara I ordered those nude ultra boost and I really do love them so hopefully I doubt they're gonna have the size I want there because when Mike first saw them he was he asked about like the sizes and um, they didn't have my size but I don't know if they have a 6.5 the ultra boost are a little bit tight okay like I could wear them they fit like it's not like I'm squeezing into them I have flat feet so they're just like a little bit tighter than I would like and like what I feel comfortable with and like I kept saying like I was gonna wear them today but then I put them on and I was like, oh, they, they fit, whatever. But I just wasn't like as comfortable as they should have been. So hopefully Foot Locker might have the 6.5. Um, if not, I will just return these. Thank God I can just return them to the store. And then uh, I'll order the 6.5 because I really do love the color of these. They're like a really pretty nude. Is it like overexposed? That's kind of the color. I have NMDs that are kind of this color, but I like these also, and they're really, really comfortable. With um, with the NMDs, I say size one and a half sizes down. I'm normally a seven and a half, and I got a, I always get a six in the NMDs, but in Ultra Boost, I would just size one size down because at least for me, although like they fit, it just wasn't as comfortable, so I feel like the half size up will be more comfortable. So Tony's going to the brow bar today. She's dropping off a lot of jewelry. Um, I'm so happy that you guys have been going there and checking it, checking it out. They don't carry the entire line. We have so many pieces. It would be impossible for them to carry everything. They um, order the pieces that they want, so not everything is gonna be sold there. Um, if you DM me and ask me if something's there, I can tell you, but uh, we're not like in charge of what they, what they get. We also just released this gorgeous evil eye ring. You guys are gonna love it. I'll insert a picture. Um, it's beautiful. It's like something I feel like you guys have really been wanting from us, so I think you're really gonna like it. Just leaving Christie's. My hair's all nice and fresh and bright. I'll show you in the car. I'm really thirsty. I think I'm gonna, okay. Oh my God, it's so good. Nice and color. Oh my God, my, look at my hair. <laughs> I, my hair grows so fast. I just got a haircut. When did I get a haircut? A few weeks ago, Nolan gave me a haircut. Look at all my hair. <laughs> I have so much hair. So Christy is pregnant. Um, she's giving birth in April. Uh, she will be working two days a week. I'm not like sure the dates, but she told me um, if you guys ever need anything, you can just DM her. Her, I'll leave her Instagram and everything in the down bar. This is one of my favorite glosses by Clinique. You guys know I love these Clinique lip glosses. Um, I talked about my favorites in my last Get Ready video, but right now I'm gonna put on some Fizz Pop. Hi, uh, can I have a venti unsweetened passion fruit tea lemonade, please? Anything else? Do you have any of the egg white bites? Um, can I have the, uh, the egg, uh, the roasted red pepper one, please? Sure. That's it. Thanks, Yesterday, I was making my Bulletproof, and I thought, like, let me just add a little extra splash of my Brain Octane Oil, because I normally do, um, I normally do one capful, which is probably, honestly, less than a teaspoon. I haven't measured it out, but I'm sure it's less than one teaspoon. And so I just did like an extra little splash. I'm not kidding. My mind was so clear the entire day. I've never taken Adderall, but that's what I imagine Adderall to feel like, even though I'm sure Adderall is probably way more intense, but that's what I thought Adderall would feel like because my brain felt so clear. I felt like I got, I was so focused. I could get so much done. So I started putting a little bit extra brain octane oil in my coffee. Um, probably like one and a half capfuls, like just a little bit extra. So we're gonna try out these little egg white bites. I really like the ones with bacon and cheese, but I'm trying to be good. So, well, I actually think there's cheese in here. There's cottage cheese. Obviously the one with bacon 
and Gruyere is better because bacon makes everything better. I call this a passion fruit tea lemonade. It's not called that. Um, it used to be called that like back in the day. I've always known it as a passion fruit tea lemonade because when I first tried it, I was in New York City with my cousin Tiffany and she was like obsessed with these drinks so we would always get passion fruit tea lemonade. I had a relapse guys. Okay, but look how cute this is. All these flowers. Look at this new line. My Bath and Body Works. Cool off gel lotion, body refresher, yoga mat mist, dry shampoo, shower in a bottle, all this like stuff. We have cute candle packages, but I only like one. They all have a weird after Don't love everything. Maybe something like this. They have such cute little, look at this little succulent wallflower. They have a flamingo one, some really cute ones, but I don't like burning these. I like these fresh ones. Okay, so I just got home. It is almost five o'clock. So at Sephora, I just got a little sample of what's, what's up. And then I got the Tatcha, this is freaking expensive, the Silk Con Convis Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. It was the last one and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. Like, I can kind of justify it, right? Um, shit. It is a very different primer than anything I've ever used. So I'll open that in a second and show you. And then this was also the last one. Oh, I also had a sample of the Decay Primer Potion because I'm almost out of my primer. But this was also the last one. And it's actually been in my cart like online for a while. I was planning on buying it during the sale, but I decided to just get it now. My friend Nolan, you guys know he cuts my hair. Tony's hair, he's a great hairstylist. Um, if you're interested, you can DM him. He said that he loves this. He actually bought a backup of it. So I was like, okay. And then uh, my shoes, okay, just like an egg falling around in here, <laughs> shit. Um, my shoes that I was um, going to return to Foot Locker, I ended up exchanging, but they didn't have in store, so I should have them by next week. And then from Bath and Body Works, I just got two candles. Um, the two candles I got for me, they were just like, I like to put these on like when I'm cleaning to make it smell like even fresher. And I really like these new containers are a little bit like wider, but flatter. So I got lemon, which smells like kind of like lemon pledge but not so chemically and I just like that smell when I'm cleaning. I feel like it makes it seem more clean, if that makes sense. And then the last one I got, um, I loved the I loved the design. Like do you see what I mean? Like this is the cap of this one and then this is the regular cap. So this is eucalyptus mint. It smells like really fresh and sort of like a spa, so I just got those two. My mom was happy with her incense candles. And now I'm gonna put this stuff away, and no, I'm gonna make a smoothie, then clean up, because I'm hungry, so I wanna do that first. Nick and I, we're just out and about. I just wanna tell you guys, this is like my new favorite special treat drink, like not something I would drink every day, because I think it was like $5 or something. But this actually tastes really good. It's water, lemon, coconut nectar, and activated charcoal. Truthfully, I don't know if activated charcoal ingested like this does anything, but I like it. Now we're in this hunting store with my country boy. Like I know Yetis are like a big thing. Um, I actually, a few weeks ago, got a sort of Yeti looking cup at the dollar store. I didn't realize the appeal before I used that one. And I really like this like Tiffany blue color, so I'm gonna get this. It helps me drink a lot, a lot of water. And uh, mine and Mike's anniversaries, and well, we have like, a few anniversaries because like we celebrate like when we first began our relationship sort of like in June, and then our official, like when we became official was in September. But I think for the, our anniversary, I'm gonna buy him a Yeti cooler because he's going, he's going fishing. Yeti.